All right, pre-show cheers. Yeah. Cheers to you, cheers to you. Hello, Internet. Welcome to the show. Ronnie James announces his commitment to college. All that and more. My name is Darren, that is AJ, and this is the DNA Sports Recap. Roll the intro. All right, so where do you want to start? Do you want to start with the NBA? Yeah, let's go into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and first start with Bronny James. He made the announcement uh, via Instagram on Saturday, April 29th, of where he's going to play, uh, which is uh, USC. So, I mean, Bronny commits to USC. Uh, he's the number 19 recruit in the country, uh, which is kind of surprising being he's a LeBron James kid. Yeah, number 19 out of the ESPN Top 100. Yeah. Uh, some... I don't know. I mean, I, I think it's awesome. I, I love that he stays home in L.A. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I look forward to him playing in the Pac-12 being that, you know, we're here in Salt Lake City. So. Oh, that's a good point. Could I you imagine the, the USC game when they come to Utah? Almost guaranteed that game sold out. Yeah. Yeah, so Brody's a 6.3 point guard uh, from Cleveland who played last year at Sierra Canyon High School. Uh, like you mentioned, he's ranked 19th. He's actually considered a top five point guard prospect in the country. And he is a class 2023 McDonald's All American. Yep. So, so I mean, I, some interesting thing is is the after the Brawny commitment is then you get DJ Rodman. He commits okay. there. He's the son of Dennis Rodman. Seriously. He was a senior. He was what? averaging just about 10 points, six rebounds, and shooting 38 percent from three. He also commits to USC after well, Brawny James. No, I commits. can't. I, I, Dennis, you need to get a DNA test. You couldn't hit the three for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and then. And then for USC, they get Isaiah Collier, who's the number one recruit in the 2023 class. Oh, wow. He was, his, his stock kind of rose throughout the season. He was originally like kind of rated in the 20s to 30s. Mm -hmm. um, he's climbed all the way up to the number one recruit in this high school class, wow. and he just commits to USC. So Last they're kind of stacking that team up. USC is definitely looking to make a run this year. Well, hey, I think that's awesome. Uh, here's one thing I do want to kind of talk about, because you mentioned LeBron James. He talked about how he always wants to play with his kid, right, in the NBA. Uh, which, you know, do you see Bronny being a one-and-done kid? I, I don't see him not being a one-and-done kid. Oh, he's 100% one-and-done. Yeah. I mean, there's there's no way, especially because he knows LeBron wants to play with him. He's yeah. going to go, you know, complete his one year, and then he's off to the NBA, in my opinion. Yeah, I think you're right on that. Um, the funny thing is, is that LeBron did was quoted as saying, well, that's my dream. That's not necessarily his dream. Yeah. I'm going to let him do what he wants. You know, if the stars align, great, but that's what his goal is. I mean, I mean so. really... The, the kid's a fantastic player. I mean, he's yep. the best perimeter defensive player coming out of high school. Wow. So he's a great defensive player. Obviously, you know, he's got the, the crazy athleticism that comes from just being a James, right? right? So, you know, does his stock get high enough where I think he's, you know, potentially a draft pick? I think that's probably what's really going to tell it. Right. You know, because because really, if, if he's not going to be drafted, you know, I mean, if he if he tanks the season and just just doesn't play well, you know, some of the some of the rumors are right now that he may not even start for this USC team. They have a really stacked team. They've had, I mean, a couple of like pretty high high school recruits. They're already on the roster and USC actually made a pretty good run last year. Yeah. So does he actually not start? Highly unlikely, but it's rumored that he could be coming off the bench for that team. Even if he does, I don't think that really affects his draft capital. Capital? I don't yeah. really. I mean, how many players? I mean, Trey Lyles wasn't a starter, and he was drafted in the top twenty, right? So absolutely. You know, I, I could see it. I could see it definitely be something he might be worried about. I don't know. I don't think it really affects anything. I think if he does start, you know, fantastic. He could be a you know a top ten pick. Yeah. But if he doesn't start, I, I still see him going in the lottery. I think just out. the big thing would be is. <laughs> People know that LeBron James is coming up on the end of a contract, and they know that by drafting Bronny, you have a chance to get LeBron. True. You know what I mean? So I think that raises your draft capital right there. Teams in, you know what I mean? They might be jumping up to get him just thinking, hey, LeBron, we got we got Bronny over here. You know, your contract's expired. Where are you heading? Is there a chance, is there a snowball chance and you know where that that's, the Lakers aren't going to somehow swing it to where they can make sure that they're in position to draft Bronny? I, I think there's definitely a chance. I think the NBA makes it so that is a likelihood that the Lakers are the one drafting him. 
I mean, you know all the rumors about the NBA being scripted. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and the clutch sports and, you know, yeah, how, yeah. how we basically, yeah, so I, I definitely see that. But one thing that kind of just bothers me a little bit about LeBron James' comments when it comes to this is did you hear his response uh, to him uh, announcing the USC selection? is that he mentioned that Bronny will be the first one in his family to go to college. The only reason why he's the first one is because you didn't want to go to college. Yeah, it's not that you couldn't have gone to college. There's not a single <laughs> D1 school that wouldn't have been like, hey, we'll race you now. Really like that he's like, because his mom didn't go to college, obviously LeBron didn't go to college. In all reality, Bronny's probably going to be one and done kid, so he's not even going to be having a degree it's anyway. only kind of in college. So it's basically kind of in college, yeah. Yeah. He's basically a recruiter for the school, basically, <laughs> when it all Apparently. gets said and done. Yeah. So, um, you know, hopefully he gets all that, you know, $7.6 million that he's reported to be as, as far as his NIL, NIL money. Yeah. Uh, so he gets it all in one year and declares for the draft and see what happens. So, yeah. Fantastic. So, um, anything else you got on, on that story at all? Nope, that's it. That's what all I had. Right. I think that's fantastic. I did not know the rest of that about the uh, yeah, the other else going coming to the in. USC. That's <laughs> insane. Once again, folks, uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, keep in mind the full episode will be available in podcast form underneath YouTube playlists, podcasts on our channel, and also in audio form wherever you find your podcasts. Yep, and if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like this video, share it if you got if you do like the content, subscribe. Um, Definitely keep com commenting. We love interacting with you guys. Um, Absolutely. Yep. It's been great. Uh, we try to get back to every comment, so uh, if you haven't had a response yet, uh, we'll get it's to coming. it. It's coming. We'll get to It's coming, there. I promise. We appreciate it. So, uh, once again, all folks, uh, really appreciate it. Thanks for all the engagement and, uh, and the continued growth of this channel. Uh, we're really enjoying it quite a bit, so appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, once again, folks, my name is Darren. That is AJ. This has been the DNA Sports Recap. Till next time.